Hello everyone. Oh, it's just a, a chat about the coronavirus. It's a pandemic that us British are about to face. It seems like it's the world's worst for a long, long time. And uh, yes, a lot of it could be preventable. If the Chinese stop eating rats and mice and cats and dogs and little babies and maggots and ants and etc. But this this flu, this coronavirus or uh, COVID nineteen, uh, which the, now the government, the, the world Organ the health organization is now called, uh, is uh, a pretty bad one, and it's mutated. Well, it mutated from the animal at, at point blank from what was it Wuhan city in China, but now uh, it it's obviously mutated because. Uh, it can actually now be passed on just a sneeze cough anyone got it on the hands it can be passed on by you know touching something because it's now known that the, the coronavirus can actually last up to three days on a surface on a you know if you go into the shops and you touch a door handle or people touch tins uh, goods on the shelves and if they've got it it's going to be passed on that way uh, there's there's a thousand ways now, public toilets etc. Schools schools where people you know uh, com uh, combine themselves uh, together big groups, i.e. schools, uh, universities, colleges, uh, even hospitals <laughs> of all places hospitals, and the government's response is now we've gone from the contained stage and we're now into like an intermediate restage, what that's what they're saying, which means that it's now not contained. <laughs> as simple as the not contained, it it's now running free, and it's going to run free down the country. And they've been warned that it's going to take twenty percent of the population. That's their estimates, which obviously I don't trust them. More like forty percent, I would believe, or sixty percent. But they're they're saying twenty percent of the population. There's quite a lot of people. Uh, fortunately. With the God sent children, uh, it does affect it. Do they, do, they can catch it. It does kind of affect it, but it doesn't affect it like the adults. Uh, children are not immune, but they're okay. Their little body defenses are fight, uh, can fight it off. Yippee! I'm glad about that because I have grandchildren. I hope nothing. I have one grandchild, grandson that's uh, his last year he battled um, uh, meningitis and he's 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 having to travel to the hospital the day again because uh, he can't he like he's he's walking and that and, and stuff like that it's it does affect you badly so uh what uh, what do people think do they think that the government can control this you've got to remember we've had a government in power for 10 years now that's been done nothing the forty thousand less nurses thousands of less doctors thousands of less beds thousands of less wards They've got billions from the National Health. They've been damaging the National Health for about 10 years now. Uh, and Jeremy Hunt, I just sat watched him there. Jeremy Hunt has admitted it and he said he was against it all. Because now they're worried because our National Health has been wrecked by this party for so long. And now we have a, a massive thing here called, the, the what is it, the cor coronavirus or the coronavirus. It's something that our national health is going to be massively strained and co collapsed by uh, it'll go out of control with this government uh, people are going to see for themselves and all you people have vote this government i hope you're happy especially if you get coronavirus i have no sympathy for the people that vote for this government because this government didn't care about days like today their their objective is make the money and give the elite the money and the rich make money and Obviously, the rich are going to be sick because when it comes to isolating themselves, they can. You know, they've got all these little cottages up in their countries. They've got yachts, boats, whatever, and they'll just shoot off for a couple of months because it's estimated it's going to take about three months. The coronavirus does. Uh, it, it takes 27 days to incubate. And the government's not doing nothing at all because they don't want any financial things put on companies. And the companies don't want the financials. So they're saying, the, the government, we want workforce, but if we don't get them, you won't get no taxes. 
but then again, they don't pay much taxes anyway to work for, so pays the taxes. So, ha ha, Johnson. Uh, what I've got to say now is, what are you going to do? Well, I'll wait. I'll give you. The, I'll give you some clues. Number one, you have. Oops, I forgot. I forgot to get one of my tools. What I was going to show. It's right here. I just can't pick it up. <laughs> one moment. I, I've got it. <coughs> and companies all over the country. This is what you should buy, Sunshines. It's a thermometer. And you just point it, look, and you get a laser. So what you do with your workforce, this is just one idea. Even if, if it's a, a supermarket or something, get all your staff on a morning. We do know that the incubation is 27 days, but as soon as you get coronavirus, you will get a temperature, a high temperature. And... That's it. Uh, before your your staff enter work, check them with this. Make ensure your staff have got plenty of clean and fluids to clean their hands. Uh, unfortunately, people, the masks just don't do an ape of the good between it uh, to stop it. Well, they can do if somebody uh, has got it and they sneeze on you. Yeah, fair dues. But uh, it, the the fact is that coronavirus is actually being passed by touch. Which means that if you touch another human being with it, with your bare hands, that's it, you've got coronavirus. Or if you touch, there again, it just goes on your hands, wash it off and you may be safe. It might not so soon, it's getting that fast. But uh, yeah, wash your hands, everybody. The masks, you see them walking around, around in where I live now, I, lots of people are starting wearing masks and they're walking around thinking they're safe. You're not safe. Coronavirus can get onto your hands, get onto your clothing. It's can live up to three days on a surface, any surface. So you put your hands on a door, you put your hands on a rail, you put your hands on uh, on, on anything, you could get it. So companies, my grandchildren have just arrived, arrived while I was making this video because I thought I'd do it on a quiet time, but Lily Mae's just come in. Anyway, uh, companies that can get these you can buy these they're cheap come on companies all the businesses and companies in this country you see what i've got in front of me please everybody tell the companies get one of these stick it in the security guard's hand if you haven't got a security guard employ one get them on the gates get them on the doors and the staff check all the staff before they walk through the doors on the morning or the afternoon or the evening depending on what shift they're on and check all the staff when they arrive and before they leave if any of them's got a temperature just make a note of the names and pass it on to the health department that's how it should be so a company should be doing that it should all the companies get yourselves one of these and get your staff checks it's not a, it's not a problem that way you're, you're going to reduce the amount of people that need to stop working uh, Boris Johnson's plan uh, is going to give sick pay for the full four days. You get it for the full, because he used to stop, you don't get sick, tip, sick pay for the first four days. He's giving it back, but there's millions upon millions of people that don't get sick pay, i.e. self-employed people. Also, you know, there's a lot of self-employed people and there's millions of them in this country that are just scraping by. They couldn't afford to run a sick tip. They haven't got no sick pay. And your zero contract, you know, your gig economy, what this party created and is uh, responsible for. Uh, all these people cannot get themselves a rare. Uh, Lily May's just wanting, she's wanting to come and get involved. But we're talking about something adult, darling, not for kids. <laughs> anyway, what happened was, uh, I forgot where I was there, Lily May's put me off, she sat. Right in front of my table, look. <laughs> say, say hello, Lily. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Give me one moment. Right, and what happens there is uh, there's millions of people who can't get sick pay, so, you know, they've got a choice between extreme poverty, starvation, or going out and making some money in this this false gig economy, economy that this government has created. And... The twenty percent that the government's going to try and push on to catching it is the, yeah, obviously the poorer people I can't afford it because this government they you know they, they say they say oh we've got too many 
one moment doubt it yet yeah, that play with it if you want. Uh, the, the, this government is going to say, oh yeah, uh, it's them to blame. <laughs> the other thing is, uh, who's going to pick up the tab? What's going to happen? I mean, after the after the credit crunch, we all knew that was a working class. And those people that's in extreme poverty right this moment now, because we're still paying for it. <laughs> all the rich that took the money and put it in their back pockets and took off with it, uh, are paying now. But we are. We're still paying for it. Uh and, you know, we're now facing the coronavirus, which is, you know, extremely bad. Mostly for adults. I am half glad that kids go, aren't going to suffer too much with it. Uh, so there's one. Companies, start spending money. Start getting there. Uh, make sure you've got hand wash for all your staff. Every country, every company, take, like, Tesco, Asda. Look at all your staff. Care for your staff and care for your customers. Make sure you've got plenty of clean and fluid for your staff to wash their hands. Make sure your staff are constantly washing their hands. Make sure your staff aren't touching customers. Make sure you're cleaning all the products you're putting on your shelves. You know, get some of your staff going around constantly with a cloth and some antiseptic on it. You know, it's, it's just wipe the, wipe the product over. Make sure people aren't going to catch any coronavirus off that and give your shelves a wipe constantly. Let's do it. Get companies, get it done. It might cost you a few quid. Not a lot, just a few quid. You know, you, it's all it's going to cost you is like, well, not much really, because the government don't pay you for most of it. And Lily May's just knocking my camera over. <laughs> and I'll say that, but I'll tell you what. Like I say, you can see with this, uh, this sick pay stuff, you can see the government are going to do what this government is good at. They're going to leave the people that in extreme poverty, the, the hard working, working class that are just scraping by, they're going to dump on them and they're going to leave them in extreme poverty and they're going to leave them to the, uh, to the coronavirus. They don't care. As long as they're safe, sitting in their mansions, hiding out on their boats, where they don't have to come into contact with the population because they're well stocked up, they can afford to be. But you've got your working class, your self-employed, that can't afford to go on the sick, that haven't got sick pay anyway. They're the ones that's going to have to go out and work and they're the ones that's going to have the biggest chance of catching coronavirus. Boris Johnson, I mean Jeremy Hunt, it's just been cancelled, he was going to go to America, but he's cancelled his trip. Jeremy Hunt was on BBC. But... He's probably, you know, in a studio where he's told everyone to keep your hands off me, keep it away from me. And he's sat there, he's made that statement. Now he'll bugger off home and he'll sit in his house and, you know, because he's got, he's all stocked up for it. They'll ride it out. But the poor working class that this government has made pay back all the billions of pounds what was uh, swindled and stolen by the elite. And they're, they're still paying it back now. And then they're going to do this to them. And the companies, they're not interested in helping the staff out. Because they know when it's all over, they'll get the working class to pay for it again. So people, you should pass it around. Get your companies to start doing stuff like this. Remember, the masks don't work. You need to get the all the surfaces kept clean, constantly kept clean. The worst places is supermarkets, schools, big places where people con uh, congreg congregate. Uh, areas where like that they need shut down you need to shut the schools they need to shut the libraries they need well we don't have no libraries the Tories shut them I was going to say you need to shut the hospitals but the Tories already done that <laughs> coronavirus people we're facing the pandemic they're saying pandemic it's a, it's a huge endemic uh, endemic that's it it is dis it's going to destroy you it's going to kill a lot of poor people and I say, poor, it's not going to kill you, Lee, because they'll all be hiding in their, you know, log cabins, etc. Their places out in the country, their boats, their yachts. Uh, you know, they've got loads of places that places they can go to to get protected, so they don't have to come in contact with other humans for the next three months. But when this pandemic does play out, you'll see the people that truly did come the worst off, and it's going to be the working class again. This government will ensure that. Anyway, that's DIY Granddad. It's it was all it was was just a rant here, but I hope it's a good rant and people do take notice. You know, there's stuff like this 
temperature going. Down. You know, companies, doctors, they're used in hospitals. They use them in hospitals, everyone uses them. There's lots of people in electronics use them. Why don't the companies just invest a couple of quid, seven quid, buy 10 of them and give a load of staff up to check people coming in and out of the shop. Even check your customers. Uh, check for, a, a, you know, the, I think people would understand and wouldn't care. Check your, check your customers. Take the name and anyone that's got a temperature, take the name and address and write it down. That's what the company should be doing to protect their staff and to protect their customers. And it's, it's, it's for all the well. There's other companies, you know, that don't have to shut, shut. All they have to do is just keep an eye on the staff. Just keep checking them every morning when they, when they start the shift and when they finish the shift. Make sure they don't have temperatures. Because that's one of the biggest things. Because it's 27 day incubation period for coronavirus. Anyway, on that note, a great big thank you to everybody that watches my videos. I hope people have, have, have learned a little bit about coronavirus here. It's not a lot, but... We do know our beautiful children yeah. are going to be, yeah, they're not, they're not going to get hit as hard as the adults. I will. I think if it ever gets to me, it'll, it'll probably do me in. But like I say, protect yourselves. Make sure your company, if, you, if you're working, make sure your company's protecting you. Make sure they get these guns. Make sure they get that plenty of hand cleaner. Uh, and disinfect your hands, uh, disinfect clothes, and keep constantly clean it. Put your clean, hang on Lily darling, wait a minute sweetheart, put your cleaners on triple time, give them the money for it and give them extra money for cleaning up, get them around there wiping all the shelves, wipe everything, wipe doorknobs, wipe doors constantly through the day, that's what companies should be doing and if they're not and you're working, tell your manager and tell your manager to put it forward to the bosses and let's get it going. Try and save the working class. On that note, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>